faut que je puisse... Welcome to Ups and Bros! <laughs> Welcome to Ups and Bros! Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome to Ups and Bros! And this week, very special video because... Mariev is with me, my girlfriend, and you already saw her in... A lot of our videos so far. Uh, you might remember from the banana video. No, don't talk to the banana. No, you don't want to talk about the banana thing? <laughs> no. um, what we're doing today, we're talking about our 10 year anniversary. We're 10 years together now. Now, last week. Last week. But to celebrate this, instead of doing the, the classic, uh, just going out there, having like a big fancy restaurant thing and some special romantic stuff. Mariev had the brilliant idea of making a surprise to me. So we get out, she put a blindfold on my head and we just drove away from the home and drove to somewhere we call the cinema. <laughs> That's it. That's the only information she gave me. Uh, I was a little bit scared. Like I, I'm legit scared of doing uh, skydiving or bungee diving, so I was scared she was doing that. I don't know why, but I was super scared she was doing that. Instead, she surprised me with... Air balloon! Uh, air balloon ça? ride! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Here in Gatineau, we have a big festival called Festival de Montgolfière and it's a hot air balloon festival. There's a big hot air balloon driver pilot uh, community out here in Gatineau. So yes, on their free time or uh, as for fun, uh, they do accept payment to do uh, hot air balloon rides. So I might have gotten in touch with a fantastic pilot out there and uh, he showed us a sky view of the fantastic uh, Gatineau Ottawa region. And the main reason I wanted to do this video is to thank Mariev for this nice little gift, but also um, to talk to you guys about how fantastic it is and how original this is as a little tour or a fantastic way to see your city in a different way. And if you can get your hands on it, it's really worth it. So if you guys want to do an air balloon tour, just email us at beer at Austin Bros and I'll make sure to uh, transfer up this email to uh, our uh, contact out there. I'll be glad to hook you guys up. Seriously, it's totally worth it. Main reason why, it's because it's super small community. Just like the beer community, uh, air balloon drivers are like working together always. It's, it's a big team and Having to do this tour with them, me and Mariev, we had the opportunity to be a part of this team and to actually inflate the balloon, hold it up to the ground before it lifts up and then after that jump really quick to make sure you get out. This is the part you were super scared, right? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see on the video. I don't know. Yeah, we can see it a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So hopefully, <laughs> I'll probably plug that in the beginning so you already saw it, the face of Mariev, when, how scared she was when, she, when we left, lift up, left up, 
when we got into the air and um, it's a small team it's super nice working with them and you feel that you're a part of this flight this little voyage your voyage voyage this flight you're doing um, but it's impressive you get up there and it's super silent there's no engines except when he turns out the turn turn up the burners the burners the burners mm -hmm. there's they're pretty strong it's like 400 times the strength of your propane burners that you have in your barbecue which is mind-blowing but after that just the whole scenery looks so much fun like it, it and even doing this was an adrenaline trip for me and for my yeah like it, it's really scary to lift off and make sure that the winds are all right they're not too strong they're not too weak so we can lift off and go the right direction and not because you, you can't steer it there's no left there's no right you just <laughs> go and hope for the best so overall the whole experience was amazing but i gotta say one thing the landing the aterrissage yeah, yeah. They, they do they do warn you before you take off but the landing is seriously one of the most it's dangerous it's yeah not super <laughs> dangerous it's like everything is in control but you do hit the ground in like a little basket with the force of a full hot air balloon just smashing to the ground at the same time. So the first time he told us that sometimes it goes smoothly, sometimes it goes hard. Be aware if it goes hard, hold on to yourself. I was like, meh, you know, just hold it on. Everything will be fine. And no, <laughs> I was actually legit scared of uh, falling over or whatever. But uh, once you hold on to yourself and you uh, land softly the hot air balloon, uh, pop a bottle of champagne and enjoy that with the fantastic folks that uh, mm. were participating to this fantastic flight with us. So overall, hot air balloon flights, really fun. Like legit, really fun. And for the community out there of our hot air balloons pilot, uh, you guys are rocket. You're, you're really amazing. And it uh, really reminds me of the great community, the beer community has at the same time. So probably having craft beer instead of uh, champagne would be a good option maybe a good, like a good vintage beer we can we can make that work i'm pretty sure it, like, you know just just let us know down in the comments if you think we should replace sparkling by craft beer that's a good question right so overall i won't take too much of your time today uh we're still celebrating our 10 year anniversary uh, full week is coming over and we'll have fantastic videos coming up with Max. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Marie, do you have something oui, to oui. add? J'ai quelque chose pour la fin. Oh? Air balloon! <laughs> <laughs>